Hey guys, Shepard here with another video from Terror Online. Today we're going to be talking about something which I believe is extremely important in games and especially in MMOs, and that is going to be the user interface. So in this video, I'm going to be talking you through my philosophy on the user interface, why I have the frames where I have them, and why I think this makes the most sense. Also, I'll be explaining how to edit the UI in many ways, so you can get it how you want it. This is going to be a kind of a personal preference thing, however I'm going to be explaining why I think this is the optimum place. But everyone has their own setup, and as long as you're comfortable with how you have your user interface, then that's all good to be honest. But I strongly recommend at least changing it from default, playing around with it, and trying to find out what's best for you. So, what I want to do is, firstly I'll explain the UI, because I'm guessing there's a couple of people who are kind of confused. The user interface, the UI, is basically the thing that is on the screen which tells us all the information. So, for example, in Terra, it is your player frame, your abilities, your buffs, your minimap, your chat box, and there's many others as well. So, first of all, what I want to do is I want to basically do a small experiment. I want you to look at this next clip, and I want you to think about where your eyes are looking. So, for example, you're going to be looking at your character, obviously, then you're going to be looking at your player frame to see if you're going to die or whatever. So, just think about where your eyes are actually fixed. So, this is the default UI for Terra Online. As you can see, it's not great. <laughs> it's pretty much all over the place and it's all the wrong sizes. Um, for example, the text you can see pretty much engulfs half the bottom left of your screen. And I just think that for new players and experienced players, the UI is very unoptimized. What do I mean by unoptimized? So, think about this. If you are in a dungeon and you're attacking uh, a boss, for example, you'll be focusing most of your attention on the middle of the screen because if you take your eyes off the center of the screen you one might be aiming in the wrong place i.e. not hitting the boss and two if he targets you to do an ability you have no idea that that attack is coming towards you and you won't be able to move out of the way so your main focus of attention needs to be on your character however obviously you need to look at the top left of the screen to check how much health you have or you need to look at the bottom to see when your cooldowns are off. And as I said, especially in a game like Terra where the combat's so involved and action orientated, you can simply just get hit and get killed. With the default UI, you've got five slash six things that you're gonna be looking at. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom of the screen, middle of the screen. And even by looking at one of these things, it takes focus away from where it's supposed to be, your character. So what I'm going to do after showing the last clip, I'm going to play another one, and this is after I've edited the UI to be my positions, the ones which I like them to be in, and I want you to think about where your eyes are looking. So, as you can see on screen, previously you were looking in the top left, the top right, the bottom left, the bottom, the middle. But now with this, pretty much you can see that you are focused directly on the centre of the screen. If you need to check your cooldowns, you just need to move a couple of centimetres down. If you need to check your buffs, you just need to look a couple of centimetres to the right, instead of looking to the top right of the screen. And this means, regardless of where you're looking on the screen, you can always see your character. So, if a boss comes towards me and I'm looking at my buffs, I can still see my character and therefore I can move out of the way. So this is the reason why I put everything to the centre of the screen. As I said earlier, UI is pretty much personal preference, but I strongly recommend that if you're having problems with these kind of things, you're feeling overwhelmed with information, you don't know where to look, then definitely try this out. So now, after all that, I'm actually going to show you how to edit the user interface. Which, for a default setting in Terra, without any add-ons, is just amazing. So, I praise them for that. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do to edit your UI is press Alt or Escape. This is going to bring up your system menu. Once you get this, there's an icon on the far right called System. And you click that and you go up here to Options. You can alternately press O. 
Then you're going to want to go to UI settings. The first thing I'm going to cover is the UI scale. So if you change this bar, as you can see, it makes it bigger or smaller. I recommend having it smaller so you can fit more information on the screen and it's more compact so I set it to this. You can also change individual parts of the UI using this slider and drop down here. So I'm going to have my player frame which is probably one of the most essential parts. I'm going to have it about that size because I don't like it too big because it will engulf the screen. Any user interface element in Terra Online is actually movable. So once you've brought up this menu, the Alt or Escape menu, which we're on now, you can literally click and drag any of the frames. First of all, I'm going to need to move the menu bar out of the way, so I simply click and drag it. I like putting it at the top because the system menu is something that you don't really pay attention to in-game, if you know what I mean. If you're in a boss fight, you're not going to bring that up. And if you accidentally bring it up, then I like it out of the way, so the top of the screen is fine. So, I'm going to put my player frame down here, as I said, because, yeah, it, it's there. It's, it's pretty much exactly the same place that I'm going to be looking when I'm doing attacks or I'm in the middle of a fight. The same with my buffs, I'm going to bring them down so I can see them exactly at the same time. The minimap is one of those things that you pretty much won't pay attention to in a fight, so you can put it anywhere, but I like to keep all the information at the bottom of the screen, so I'm going to put it down here in the bottom right. Another good thing about having all the information in the bottom of the screen is that the pretty much, I'd say the top two thirds are empty, which means I can actually see everything that's going on in the screen. And it means I actually get to see those uh, gorgeous graphics that the game has to offer. So the next thing I'm going to want to change is this insanely large chat box down here in the bottom left. So yet again, I want to make it as small as possible, but still be able to read it. I'm going to start by changing the size of the font. If you hover the chat panel you can see a cog in the top left and if you click this it's going to bring up chat tab options. However this is going to only apply to that one tab so as you can see here I'm editing general so it's only going to apply to that tab. Once I bring up this menu you can see that you can change one the font size, two you can adjust the opacity and three you can change what chat channels actually appear in this tab. So I'm going to make my font size a lot smaller down to 90 and then I'm going to move the chat box so all you do is yet again just click and drag it in the bottom right there's a resize option where you just click and drag that also so I like my UI to be kind of symmetrical as much as possible so I'm gonna put this one down here like this which is nice and flush with the character frame but then I'm also going to drag out another thing which I like to look at which is the combat log so if I click and drag the tab I can just move it out like this and uh, I'm going to set the chat tab options exactly the same. So I just opened it up here to check that it was 90. I'm going to go in here, click on the cog, set this one to 90. So it's pretty much the same exact size. And now I'm going to put it in the same position. So as you can see, it's starting to come together now. Look how clean it is. Look how small it is. Like the, the important things are quite large, i.e. the buffs and the player frame and the abilities. But the things which can wait are kind of small, but they're still accessible. So it's not taking any of my focus away from the actual game. It's being in the background, as it should be, as a user interface object. Okay, so the last thing we need to change is the target frame. However, you can't actually find this when you're not in combat. So you need to go fight something to be able to move it. Once it pops up, all you need to do is yet again press Alt or Escape. And then just drag it to where you want it. So you're going to be getting a couple of hits here. <laughs> but there's nothing you can really do about it. But uh, yet again, I'm going to put it to the bottom of the screen because this is an important frame. I mean, you need to know when to use your cooldowns. You need to know if he has any special abilities. And most importantly, you're probably going to want to know when he's going to die. So if you didn't like the way that I have my UI set up, or you don't like the way that I explained why I have it set up, then at least try and set it up yourself. Because as we know as MMO players, we're not going to be playing this game one time through to the end of the story. We're going to be playing this game a hell of a lot over the next X amount of years. So it's a good idea to actually get comfortable with the user interface and I believe that it's pretty hard to do that default. So just have a go at editing it and moving it about and uh, personalising it and see what you guys like. I also want to know how you guys have your UI so post in the comments below and let me know. Or even better I've created a thread on the Europe forums for Terra Online which will be in the description below. If you click that link then you can actually upload a screenshot of showing me how you have your user interface and also put a little description explaining why you have it this way. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it or you found it interesting. 
I'm going to be putting up a video every two days from now until close beta 2 starts for us in Europe, which is the 2nd of March. So subscribe if you like my videos and you want to see more.